Hey everybody, so today I have here, this is the Razor Blade 15, this is the RZ090330. I know there's a lot of like different models that do that this does actually come with. It's a nice 15 inch laptop. This one's a little bit dirty at the moment, but it's in here for a reason. Um, it is powering on, it's actually working, but if you look closely, look closely here, you see this is expanding. You see even the screw holes on the bottom, on the top here, see how they're going in a bit there? This laptop is actually expanding. You can see this is how it is. Um, a lot of cases, what that is, actually in all cases, it is just that it's the battery that's actually expanding there. It's actually getting worse, and it's going to get actually thicker and thicker, and there are some times where it can actually damage the trackpad here. We've seen it crack the trackpad before it does those things if you let it get to a certain point. This thing can expand pretty pretty big, and it's very dangerous, so you don't want to keep using it if it is doing that. You want to make sure that you get the battery replaced as soon as possible to avoid any type of injury to, to you, yourself, and let's just get right into it. So it's a pretty straightforward process. We'll just be removing it, and there's just a bunch of screws on the back here. Now you don't want to use it always in this condition. You want to make sure you do it as soon as possible. You get a replacement there. You don't want that thing getting bigger and bigger, and it can cause other damage. And um, it can also cause a fire. Uh, it can leak. You can smell like a little bit of a chemical smell. That's not really good when you do have that. Um, you don't want to keep using it because obviously all that voltage going into it is just going to make this thing worse. Okay, so we undid it, and man, is this thing really thick? But well, let's before we do anything, let's make sure. We lift out the power connection. There we go. Make sure it's all safe and good to go. You don't want to start anything else. Now, there are screws that do go around there, hold it, and it looks like that few of them are lifted, and some looks like they're actually missing. Um, and see, that's another dangerous part about this whole thing is leaving in, in something like this, and look how thick it is. You can't even tell. I'll show it to the side just a bit, but let me remove it. Actually, one missing over there. But if I turn this to the side, now you can see what, what the problem is, right? See how thick and bulging it is? This isn't supposed to be white here. This is a very thick, thick battery that we have here. It's bulging. See that? It looks like a balloon almost. It's a little bit harder always to show depth on a camera, but uh oh, we'll see it's ballooning up. Um, for these two, we want to make sure we dispose these right. Um, obviously, we're a tech shop. We have e-recycling, and we dispose of these uh, properly. So uh, we always want to make sure you do that because you don't want to just throw this in the trash. It's not good. And we'll get in our other battery that's a lot thinner. You can see even the difference. Like, look how nice and thin that is. Right? And what we can do is we go in this side here, because there's a little gap on that side. Just want to push it down this way, and then it should just fall right into place, nice and easy. And I may need to locate some extra screws for this, because uh, those some screws are actually missing there. Okay, they just plug it in there. Should be like that. Let's turn it on. Hopefully it has some charge, something. There's a green light there, there's a keyboard light, and there it goes. And then obviously we could just put the bomb cover back on, just re-screw it up and you should be good to go. But it's always good to test it before you fully put it back together, make sure it's fine. Before we put on the cover, uh, we want to show you guys a lot of times what can happen with these. Uh, you'll see that there are these little circles that actually do go through here, right? You'll see there's a circle. Yeah, that's, what that's going to do is it's going to, it's kind of acts like a washer, how it's going to hold down the screw. Now, uh, this one over here doesn't have one. It fell out, obviously, because the, the battery was expanded there. So you could do two things. Uh, we could see if we can find something to hold it in, or a better way, probably just get a bigger screw than that was typically in there, and actually will hold it in a little bit better. Um, and also, you see that? Even that with just my finger, see how loose that was right there? And this should be, this should be more over here anyway, but it shouldn't be falling through or anything. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. When these expand, that can happen. So you may need to get just a little bit of a bigger screw. Or if you actually hold it in like this um, and then put a screw through it, that should work totally fine as well. So let's go ahead. We'll just finish putting on the top. Uh, I'll get the screws. We're not going to go through the process really for that. But we'll make sure it sits fine and everything looks to be okay. So what we did here, uh, we wanted to make sure that the bottom looks better, right? As good as smooth as it possibly can. Custer didn't want to go ahead and actually get another back cover or anything. But we did really the best that we could to at least do the screws for them so it's going to be as flat as, as, po as possible for it but you can see it's not expanding anymore and the battery's been replaced and it turns on just fine now we need to wipe this down because it's actually pretty nasty too anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy watching doing the battery placement on a swollen battery for the razor blade uh, 15 
you found this video informative and helpful, if you're doing the repair, definitely leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.